Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on enhancing and monetizing your AI influencers. In today's video, we brought another exciting workflows to take your consistent AI influencer to the next level. Specifically, we're going to use the new LoRa developed by the Instara team to improve the output image generation of our Quen workflow. And I'll also share a upgraded Quen workflow that uses the control net model to accurately follow the pose of a reference image. This workflow significantly enhances the result using the reference image much better than the previous workflow that I shared in the Quen image training guide. Both of these workflows will enhance the results a lot and you can use any of your trained Quen LoRa inside the workflow to enhance the generation of your AI influencer. Once again, the Rampa template to run the workflow in the cloud is available for our members. So you don't need to worry about setting it up locally on your machine if you don't have a powerful GPU like the 4090 or 5090. This workflow is excellent at generating hyper-realistic images. So you can use it to create a base portrait of your influencer as well, which is the first image for your AI influencer. For the full Quen LoRa training guide, refer to the previous Quen LoRa training tutorial video. In there, you'll learn all the training tools and steps needed to create your dataset images, train your first Quen LoRa, and build your first AI influencer. You also get all the Rampa templates required to run everything in the cloud, even if you don't have a strong GPU to handle the workflows. I'll first go over the One Girl Quen workflow to explain how it works step by step. To run this workflow, choose the template link in the description below and launch it on a 5090 GPU. Once the container launches, you'll see that all the models are downloading. you should be able to click the ComfyUI link and launch the interface. For the base model, we're using the Quen Image Q8 GUF model, where Q8 GUF refers to a quantized model format optimized for performance. It reduces file size and memory usage with minimal quality loss compared to the base model. The base model is then connected to the LoRa loader stack node, which applies all the additional style models, like the One Girl Quen version 3 model, the Nice Girls LoRa model, and the Samsung Chem LoRa model. The workflow then loads the text encoder model, which is the model for understanding and embedding our text prompts. There is also a section for prompting, which includes both the positive and negative prompts. Overall, this is a very simple workflow. You just need to upload your LoRa model and then attach it in the LoRa loader stack node. In order to upload the LoRa model that you trained using our guide, inside the Rampa template for One Girl Quen workflow, click the Jupyter Notebook and then navigate to ComfyUI slash model slash LoRa's folder and then open up the terminal and then type in wget the model download link. You can obtain this model download link by uploading your model to Hugging Face repo and then clicking this copy download link button. Once your LoRa model finishes downloading, you can refresh Comfy UI and you'll be able to locate your LoRa model. I'm going to try running the workflow as a demonstration. In the LoRa loader stack node, there's already three LoRa models that are uploaded. The One Girl Quen LoRa, the Nice Girls LoRa, and the Samsung LoRa. All of these can be found in the Civit AI page I'll link in the description below. As an example prompt for this generation, I'm going to use this. I found this prompt in the example prompts that the Instara team already created, so all credits go to them for helping out on these generations. I've also included all these prompts in the description below so you can check them out there. For example, here is an example photo that I'm going to generate using this prompt. When you drag and drop the image into the Comfy UI interface, you'll already see the prompt that was used to generate this image using the One Girl Quint Laura. In the prompt, I'm just going to change a couple of things. Wherever it describes the character that doesn't match the description of my character, I'm going to change it. For example, here it says young adult woman of East Asian. My character is Caucasian, so I'm going to change the description of this prompt. And then I'm also going to change the part where it describes her long, straight black hair. My AI influencer has blonde hair, so I'm going to change the description for this as well. Lastly, I put the trigger word for my Laura character, and then I'm going to click run to generate this image. For the first time it generates the image, it's going to load the model, so it's going to take a bit longer time. Also, in the first step of generation, the sampler takes a bit longer time as well. Compared to the 
LAN model where we're using the light X to V LoRa model to decrease the number of steps needed to generate the image. This sampler images uses the full 50 steps to generate the image. So it generates really high quality image, but takes a bit longer time. And here is the final generation. The quality of the skin is extremely good and, and the facial consistency is excellent. For example, these are the training images I used to train my Quinn Laura model. As another example, I'm going to try this prompt to generate an image of my AI influencer in e-girl vibe. And here is the final output for the image. Once again, I'm super satisfied with the image generation, and this will serve as an excellent image for the Instagram content. And here is another example generation with the vibe that I'm going for. Once again, the character looks super realistic. Sometimes the background image is not perfectly generated, but this can be easily fixed with in-painting method. It's also very easy to change the body type and add some kind of tattoos on the body as well, even if your characters aren't trained with those images. So Quen model does an excellent job at understanding your prompt. Also changing the hairstyle is super flexible as well. With the Quinn Laura model that was trained with our guide and this workflow, our members are already generating really good quality images for their AI influencers. And here are some other generation of images for my other AI influencer. You can see that the facial consistency is extremely accurate throughout the images and the quality is extremely good. Now let's move on to the improved workflow for using the reference image to generate the image. This workflow expands on the original Quen One Girl setup by adding depth and face detailing to achieve higher realism and precision. It begins by loading the main diffusion model, Quen Image Q8 Golf, along with the unit, clip, and vague components. These are the same as the original workflow. We're once again using the LoRa stack node to add style customization to the image and specifically we're using the one girl Quen LoRa, the Samsung Cam LoRa, and the character LoRa. We're using the Instant X Quen image control net model to follow the pose of the original reference image and then use the depth model to increase the accuracy with the reference image even more. Another major addition to this version is the depth and face detailer chain. After generating the initial image, a depth map is created, essentially a grayscale representation of distance, allowing the workflow to understand and refine 3D structure, lighting, and depth perception. Another important part about this workflow is that we're using two samplers. It does the first pass for base render from your prompts, and then the result latent data is then fed into later refinement into the second sampler. Think of the second sampler as a cleanup and it adds a detail to your previous sampler data. When the second sampler finishes, it then goes to the face detailer as a final step. We're also using the model with our character Laura attached to it for the face detailer sampler. So you don't need to worry about ruining the consistency of your face. However, sometimes it loses some details on the skin, so you can choose to bypass these nodes if you want to. This is a sample generation with this reference image. You can see that the overall realism is excellent, and it's also really good at putting the text on the clothes as well. Here is an example where I didn't get good quality face on the second sampler. After running it on the face detailer with my original model and the LoRa's, it fixes the errors on the face really nicely. However, as I mentioned before, it can reduce the overall skin details. To fix this, I also have a skin detailer workflow ready for all our members, so you can use that with the RunPod template as well. And here is another example that I tried to generate that didn't have as part of my training image. For example, I tried to add the necklaces, the tattoos, and also change the hairstyle, but the Quen model does an excellent job at doing this as well. In terms of the details like the desktop screen and the phone case, you can easily fix this with our in-painting workflow. All these workflows are available in the description below and you can use our training guide to create your LoRa model to monetize your AI influencer. You can also join our Discord channel for free and see all the results that our members are getting. And we've been really happy to see a lot of our members getting really good results. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll be back with more AI contents in the next video.